Hey, my name's Kevin Marks. I find myself today in Anchorage, Alaska um, at a little free library. Number 3010. I have a story to tell about little free libraries. Uh, beginning of this year, 2013, I stumbled onto one in my neighborhood in San Diego. March of this year, I went out traveling around, still traveling. And when I think about it, which is a lot of the times, I get to a major city and I look to see if there's a little free library in town. And thus far, I've been to ones in Wichita, Kansas, Denver, Fort Collins, um, White Horse, the Yukon. Now I've got two in Anchorage, and I'm going to go to a lot along the West Coast. And usually when I get to a town, I ride my bike to all these places, but somebody just encouraged me to make one of these films for the little Free Library Film Festival. So I figured I'd already been to this one a few days ago. Figured I should come back and at least film something in front of a little free library deadlines in like six days I gotta get all the way through BC there's no more free libraries for at least another week or so so this is this is it so these are the first ones I encountered in San Diego forgot about it in Phoenix and Albuquerque these are in Kansas a couple in Wichita one out in Western Arkansas, and then my big push into Denver. Saw quite a few in Denver. This is my favorite one here, made out of an old barn. Some on the outskirts of Denver. We got one in Littleton. Open oh, Fort Collins, and then. Forgot about it in Montana, and now we're in Anchorage. What do I like about the Little Free Library? Well, a lot of things. I'm, uh, I kind of like the free box aspect to it, where there's no money involved. If you need a book, take one. If you'd like to leave a book, you leave one. It encourages reading. I'm a free box type of person. I do a blog called The Traveling Free Box. And I carry this free box with me in the van and collect things that are discarded with the hopes of finding them a new home with people I meet along the road. So I was wanting to build a free box in my front yard when I got back to San Diego at the end of 2012. Never quite pulled the trigger, but before I was leaving, I found the little free libraries, two of them in my neighborhood in South Park, San Diego. And again, I just kind of got fired up. I found the, the map on the website. I just barely kind of looked into starting one, but I knew I was getting ready to leave. And so it's just been kind of part of my mission as I travel to visit free libraries across the country. And boy, have I been impressed with a lot of the variation and um, creativity involved in, that goes into a lot of these things. Some are very simple. Some are pretty ornate. Um, I really like it when the Little Free Library caretaker leaves a notebook so you can write little messages and talk about whatever's on your mind. Um, that happened to me in Denver. There were I went on a little tour of eight Little Free Libraries all on my bike, did it all in one afternoon in uh, central Denver. And one of the places, a gal named Robin, had left a little notebook in, in her library. I wrote a little note. She found my blog and was psyched to have seen it. So that's definitely something I'd encourage everybody to do is to leave a notebook in your library so that people...